Imagine a world where your phone is more than just a device. It's a symbol of status, power, and innovation. For a time, BlackBerry was that phone. From the hands of top executives and celebrities to the leader of the free world, uh, I do fight really hard just to keep my BlackBerry. BlackBerry ruled the smartphone market. But how did this Canadian company, once at the pinnacle of mobile technology, fall from grace in such a spectacular fashion? This is the rise and fall of BlackBerry. The story of BlackBerry begins in 1984, in Waterloo, where two engineering students, Mike Lazaridis and Douglas Fredgen, founded Research in Motion. Initially, the company focused on developing wireless data technology. At its peak, BlackBerry dominated the smartphone market, commanding over 50% of the U.S. market share by 2009. The devices were a status symbol for professionals, celebrities. BlackBerry, it's, it's my heart and soul. Like, I love it. I'll never get rid of it. And politicians, including then-President Barack Obama, who famously refused to part with his BlackBerry. President Obama gets to keep his BlackBerry, the Secret Service. President Barack well, Obama it's, it's has claimed his you, first uh, victory. He'll be keeping his BlackBerry. Uh, I do fight really hard just to keep my BlackBerry. The company's success seemed unstoppable as it continued to innovate within its niche of secure, business-focused mobile technology. However, the tech landscape was rapidly evolving. In 2007, Apple introduced the iPhone. The problem with them is really sort of in the bottom 40 there. It's, it's this stuff right here. They all have these keyboards that are there whether you need them or not to be there. But what we're going to do is get rid of all these buttons and just make a giant screen. Scroll through my list of artists. How do I do this? I just take my finger and I scroll. That's it. A sleek, touchscreen device with an intuitive user interface and access to a growing ecosystem of apps. BlackBerry initially dismissed the iPhone as a toy. I have the high ground! You underestimate my power! Believing that its physical keyboard and secure email service would continue to attract business users. This miscalculation marked the beginning of BlackBerry's decline. As Apple and later Android devices captured the consumer market with their versatile touchscreens and extensive app offerings, BlackBerry struggled to keep pace. The company clung to its physical keyboard and enterprise focus, missing the shift in consumer preferences. Attempts to innovate, such as the BlackBerry Storm with a touchscreen and the Playbook tablet, were met with mixed reviews and technical issues. Internal challenges compounded BlackBerry's woes. Co-CEO Mike Lazaridis and Jim Balsillie stepped down in 2012, but new leadership failed to reverse the company's fortunes. Strategic missteps, such as the delayed launch of the BlackBerry 10 operating system and failed attempts to compete in the tablet market, further eroded market share and consumer confidence. By 2013, BlackBerry's market share had plummeted to single digits, and the company was on the brink of collapse. In a bid to survive, BlackBerry shifted its focus to software and services, leveraging its reputation for security to carve out a new niche in the enterprise market. The company ceased manufacturing its own phones in 2016, outsourcing production to third-party manufacturers. Today, BlackBerry has reinvented itself as a cybersecurity and enterprise software company. What is BlackBerry now? We are now a, a security software company. Uh, as you pointed out earlier, 60% of our revenue comes from cybersecurity, protecting governments and banks and infrastructures of sorts. And then the remaining revenue mostly come from automakers. Uh, Leveraging its reputation for security to build a new future. Though it may never dominate the smartphone market again, BlackBerry's journey serves as a powerful reminder of the need for adaptability and innovation in the tech industry. The rise and fall of BlackBerry illustrate that even giants can falter, but resilience and strategic pivots can lead to a renewed purpose. BlackBerry's transformation highlights the importance of learning from past mistakes and continuously evolving to stay relevant in an ever-changing world.